how did you find having to attend hospital appointments, balancing that with your work and other commitments? It was, it was quite surprising because in the past I've always been really, yeah, I've been very lucky, I've always been very healthy and so I haven't attended hospitals a lot and I, it was something I had to start building into my schedule and building in around work and making sure I could get time off work at various times in order to come to um, various appointments and there were a number of appointments either, um, you know, with various different members of staff uh, for different purposes. Did you feel as though there was enough information available at the time when you were given the diagnosis about what to expect? Or do you think there are elements that we could have perhaps improved on? Obviously as a patient you come from a position of almost total ignorance really. So as much information as you can get I think is always helpful. Um, what you don't know is, uh, I suppose, quite what it's like taking the drugs and mithraxid is quite a quite a strong drug and I had one or two side effects from that which I found quite challenging and um, of course you don't really know how long it's going to get and I suppose the effect I had was that it would be, I would think I was better and then it would go back again uh, until, until it stabilised so that there was a bit of an ebb and flow of the symptoms. Can you tell us a little bit about the side effects that you actually experienced with it? Uh, the main side effect I found with mithraxate uh, was actually feeling of nausea and as I took it, uh, I think over the course of about a year, taking it in tablet form and I had to take quite a lot of tablets and with the methotrexate and with two or three other drugs I was also being prescribed for my arthritis, I was taking a huge number of tablets and eventually I found nausea was a real problem. I was, getting, I was feeling sicker and sicker until I got to the point where I actually felt I couldn't keep taking oral methotrexate, at which point I was fortunate I discovered you could have an injectable form of methotrexate, uh, and that has been somewhat better since I swapped onto the um, injectable methotrexate.